Hey guys, I'm out of the country at the moment, but we didn't want to leave you with no clips. So here's some perfect BS from CNN. Scott? Yeah, um, we don't know each other, but speaking on behalf of millions of American parents, I have four at home. I had to teach them at home. My wife had to teach them at home. I am stunned at what you have said this week about your claiming to have wanted to reopen schools. I think most, you'll find that most parents believe you were the tip of the spear of school closures. There are numerous statements you made over the summer of 20, scaring people to death about the possibility of opening schools. And I hear no remorse whatsoever about the generational damage that's been done to these kids. I have two kids with learning differences. Do you know how hard it is for them to learn at home and not in a classroom that was designed for them? And for you to sit in front of Congress and the American people and say, oh, I, I wanted to open them the whole time. I, I am shocked. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. And there are millions of parents who feel the exact same way. Okay. Go ahead, Ryan. So, I don't know you, sir, and you don't know me. But I have worked for the last 20 or 30 years helping kids every single day. I've been a school teacher. I've been a union leader. I knew and understood the importance of reopening schools and the importance of making sure that people were safe. And poll after poll that we did of parents, and I spent a lot of time with parents, said that they basically understood and supported that we needed to do both. I'm really sorry about your kids. You think parents wanted kids. to keep the kids? Nobody you, you wanted think to. Parents Nobody wanted to keep you kids at home. Kid? Why did we fail? How did Europe and the rest of the civilized world get this right and we failed? They had the, the How did they? How did the that schools, happen? The schools in Europe that opened sooner than we did and most of them did had the mitigating circumstances had the mitigating strategies that we were just talking about. And it wasn't negotiable. It wasn't oh, well, it's inconvenient to have 6 feet or it's inconvenient to have masks. They had these things. And the other thing they did, and I don't know if it was right or wrong, the other thing they did is they prioritized schools over commerce. They prioritized schools over bars and restaurants and things like that. 